One of my favorite ads to build are Instagram ads. Instagram is a separate platform from Facebook, but obviously Facebook owns Instagram. So since we have a Facebook page and a Facebook ad account, we can create Instagram ads via our ads manager. From split testing I've done on Instagram ads, I'm really finding engaged followers, more so than on a Facebook page. People who follow someone on Instagram truly do follow and engage with everything that brand does. So to increase your customers and drive awareness via this large platform of Instagram, you can use all of these great Instagram ads, including photo ads, so your sponsored ad will show up right in their feed as they scroll, video ads. I really love using video ads within Instagram because this video's sight, sound, and motion can attract and capture new potential customers. You also have carousel ads, so people can swipe through various images or videos within a single ad. And finally, story ads. These are Facebook ads that enable you to choose the placement, Instagram stories. We can create photo ads, carousel ads, video ads, and Instagram story ads. One note for Instagram stories, you can only use 19 to 16 ratio size images and video. As you can see in this example, the Instagram story ad takes over the entire mobile device screen. So first things first, go to your Facebook page, go to the top right, Help, Settings, and then in the left sidebar here, Instagram Ads. And now we need to add our Instagram account, so we link it with our Facebook page. So I prefer creating my Instagram account for my client prior to signing in, but you can create a new one from here if needed. So just sign in with your username and password. Now that we've linked our Instagram account with our Facebook page, we can start creating Instagram ads. So Facebook ads that enable you to use Instagram ads include brand awareness, reach, traffic ads, app installs, post engagement, video views, and conversions. Now let's create an Instagram ad using one of these objectives. So traffic, Continue. Website's fine. We'll use the default for audience here. And now placement. This is where we can select Instagram. So edit placements. I like to get really specific here. Not all devices because I know a high percentage of Instagram use is via mobile devices only. So here I select mobile only open Facebook, let's unselect this, so no Facebook ads, open Instagram, and here we go. We can create feed ads, this is that photo, carousel, video, or Instagram story ads. So for this example, I just want to create a sponsored photo post within Instagram. So let's unselect this, I just want it to show up in Instagram feed. Now if I had an app, I can get even more specific and choose which mobile device. Maybe the app only is for iOS, for iPhones. I could select that, but that's fine for now. Mobile only, Instagram feed only. Scroll down. We'll just leave this default for now, continue. And here we go, here's all our options. I just wanna use a single image though. And now the recommended image size is 1200 by 628, but I know the native photo, the original photo size on Instagram is 1000 by 1000 pixels. So I wanna upload a square image for my sponsored post here. So I have my 1000 by 1000 photo uploaded, scroll down, here's our Facebook page, and then here's the Instagram account we linked with it. So as you can see over here in the ad preview, Instagram feed, that's our only option because that's our only thing we selected under placements. By default, it'll just show your Facebook page. But by linking this, you're connecting people on Instagram with your Instagram handle. So this specific Instagram community can then go 
and check out your actual Instagram handle, look at your brand, your photos, and follow you. But to finish out this traffic ad, we need to input what URL we want for this call to action button, then what caption we want to appear under this Instagram post. And then I'll select the call to action, and that's it. You've now created your first Instagram ad. So one of my favorite Instagram ads for my clients is to create an incentive offer, that free ebook, that free cookbook, if you're a chef, that free mini course on whatever subject you know. Whatever incentive that people would trade an email address for in your niche, create that product and then set up a landing page on your website for capturing those leads, whether it's a MailChimp form, a ConvertKit form. So I'll create that Instagram ad and promote it to people that would want that incentive item. So I would promote an image like this, giveaway, freebie, and with my caption, direct them to my Instagram bio. So giveaway, learn how to grow your email list by 40 every day for free. See the six sources I use for free leads at the link in my Insta bio. So first, it gets people to click your Instagram handle, go to your page, likely follow you, or at minimum, at least read your bio and see your website. So here's my bio. Again, they see my domain name. They see my value proposition. I teach these various courses. Again, restate your website and then give them a link to your landing page where you will capture their email address in exchange for that giveaway item.